Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue playing through the DLC in Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Last time I finished the Desperate Measures DLC, which I wasn't at all impressed with. It was pretty lackluster, but I couldn't have known that unless I finished it. So now I'm going to start the System Rift DLC, which already by the trailer seems to be heaps more interesting. I'm going to let it. As I tried to tell you before you cut me off, you need to be careful. It's a big facility with tons of server chambers. If you're thinking about exploring every one of them, looking for clues. You want my help or not? Just watch yourself, Jensen. You and Nuclear Snake are making a run for the blades. The most secure corporate archiving facilities in the world. Jensen, I've been spotted. The AI core is cutting off my communications. Shadow Child, she may be able to help. Shadow Child, I'm in. If you extract the program from the data towers in this server, it should disable the system's hold on him. Foreign virus detected. Destroying source. Richard? Yeah, so... As you could hear, uh, Pritchard, uh, Francis Pritchard actually returns in this DLC, which I'm very, you know, glad to hear, because I find his character to be pretty f f cool and fun to interact with. I especially like the banter between him and Jensen, because I feel like they really do respect each other on some level, but uh, uh, Pritchard is just too much of a prick to admit that most of the time. And, you know, Jensen himself is, is rather reserved in his emotions overall with most people. So it creates this really fun relationship in which they are both, you know, snarking at each other. And, uh, like, at face value you think they are insulting each other. But, in fact, I, I really feel like they, they do kind of like each other. Uh, and, um, yeah, it seems we'll be breaking into the Palisade Bank with the help of Pritchard, so that's surely going to be interesting, although I'm not that sure about the whole breaking in part, uh, just, bec just because, as you probably already know, if you've watched the rest of the series, I'm really, really bad at sneaking in this game, but oh well, I'll do what I can. Uh, again, I'll p I'm playing on the de Give Me Those X uh, difficulty, which is a rough equivalent of hard, so let's do it. game so far. We're in the bottom of the ninth with two outs. An 0-2 count rest on Detroit. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off. Chased a wide one. 1-2 one is the count. Detroit's game-winning run sits on third after pulling off a play for the history books. A risky double steal. Nobody's been able to swipe a bag from this defensive powerhouse all season, but Detroit has cracked their code. The runner on third is taking a generous lead off the bag. The pitcher throws over. It's bobbled! Runner's making a break for home. It's gonna be close. He's, he's. Good evening. Francis. <laughs> Am I, uh, interrupting something, Jensen? How'd you know where to find me? I know you like to think you're off the grid these days, but I am the one who programmed your Infolink's GPL tracker. Back when I used to work for Sarif. We don't work for Sarif anymore, Francis. Be that as it may. And I distinctly remember telling you never to ping my location again. Except in an emergency. That's how I remember you saying it. A year ago, when the rest of the world thought you were dead and I helped you get out of Alaska, in fact, I seem to recall you adding, and I quote here, I really owe you one, Pritchard. I don't recall saying it quite like that. <laughs> well, it just so happens there's something in Prague that I need your help with. Tonight. Kind of busy. Investigating TF-29, I know. But if you help me with this, or even... I promise. Fine. What do you need? I've been hired to vet a company. A freelance job. Someone in Prague was helping me, but, uh... He's gone radio silent. <laughs> you mean he stopped taking your calls? I tracked the GPL signal on his phone to a bar named Zatopek. I don't know if he's alive or dead. He could have been robbed or decided to get drunk. The only thing I know for sure is that he is jeopardizing my assignment. Why do I get the feeling you're doing more than just vetting a company? He goes by the name Slaw. I need you to find out what happened to him. Send me the address of the bar. 
Sure. But... <laughs> Okay, it, it has only been a minute or so, and I already love it like 200 times more than the whole of the Desperate Measures DLC, cause, j just because the way they interact with, with, with each other is really hilarious to watch. Okay, at least it's not going to take as much as it does in regular game whenever I enter the metro. Jensen, as I tried to tell you before you cut me off, you need to be careful. Zatopek Bar is in a pocket of Prague that doesn't take kindly to augmented people. An alley off Klimova Street. They're known to get violent there. Are you warning me because you're concerned for my well-being or because you need me for this job? Just watch yourself, Jensen. I really, really like it, you know, the, the, the way they, they snark at each other and try to, um, you know, append each other with the comebacks and whatever. Um, but uh, the, the intro itself was kind of interesting because it, it like confirmed 100% that Jensen is indeed a fan of baseball and he has presumably uh, his favorite team based in Detroit, which uh, explains the signed uh, signed baseball that he has at his apartment, uh, because he was ready to, you know, um, watch watch the game half, half naked, uh, and then uh, Richard uh, interrupted him. Uh, but I also don't think... Um, I don't think it was mentioned in the base game that it was Pritchard that helped uh, Jensen get out of Alaska after um, after the whole Panchea incident. So that's also kind of interesting. Uh, it, it, it's interesting because again it shows that he was presumably presumably it was Pritchard that was looking for him, you know, after. Uh, Panchea went down and everyone thought that Jensen died, which once again shows that uh, Richard does really care uh, about Jensen, uh, even if, you know, he doesn't like to show that, or he shows that in a very roundabout way, uh, what with all of the snark, mm, mm, continued absence of the Pope, Pope Theodore III, you're yeah, right, because I think he's presumed dead or ill. Uh, but that doesn't really matter. I was just noticed. I noticed it uh, mm, sort of in the background. Yeah. So I guess let me check my inventory. Okay, they gave me a rifle which I don't need because I'm going to go non-lethal. Obviously, uh, I have five ammunition for the taser, which isn't much really. Uh, some bio cells. Now, praxis. Uh, how many? 13. Okay, I'm definitely going for the cloak. Just because with how much I suck at stealth, mm, it's going to be a huge help. Um, I think I'm also going to buy at least this level of, of upgrades for the battery. Mm, okay, 6. So, you know what, I think I didn't really pay this uh, uh, upgrade. Mm. Mm, I really didn't pay this upgrade too much attention in the main game, but I was thinking in one of the DLCs, you know, t since, uh, since I do not use any lethal weapons at all, and most of the enemies carry them, uh, and they carry the ammunition as well, so it might be pretty useful to get this and break everything I find and I do not use down, and then use it to craft like uh, ammo for the Tesla, or bio cells, or multi-tools. So I'm not sure, you know, how much of a return is it? Presumably it doesn't give you that much, but then again, the 8-pack for Tesla is only 75 parts, so it seems like a good idea. So I'm going to buy uh, all of the Tesla upgrades, which will amount to 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, um, which only would leave me one for this, but uh, upgrade optimizer. Hmm. But, ah, but this only works on weapon upgrades, so I don't think I even need... I don't even think I need that. I mostly need this. Allows breaking of down of weapons, ammo and other items uh, into weapon parts from the inventory. Yeah, so I think that kind of works out. I'm going to buy this. Mm. Presumably I'm go also going to, you know, earn some more praxis as I go, because even in Desperate Measures, which was pretty short, I think I uh, earned about three additional ones over the course of the game. Uh, okay, so additional targets. Hmm, interesting, so it seems I am counted as having the uh, capacitor uh, already, because I don't need to, I am not overclocking, I don't need to disable anything else. Mm. So, with that done, I can, first of all, uh, assign the, um, the augs correctly, because last time I didn't do that with the cloak and I was I kept dying uh, over and over. Now let's test, because um, I'm going to dismantle the rifle, because I'm not going to ever use it, and I'm also curious how much uh, parts, 50 parts, oh, but freak. Okay, I, I mm, it says weapon parts, so are they only for upgrades? parts available. If they are, then I might have to reload, because if they are only used for upgrading other weapons, then it's lit. oh, okay, no, not. It's not how it works, so that's good to know. Uh, okay, so discard that as well, because that's the ammunition. Oh, no, not discard, why did I not discard, but rather uh, dismantle. Uh, ten weapon parts. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a enough of the ret of a, of a return. I feel like to justify getting that because you know when you consider that all of the enemies drop a weapon pretty much, and most of those weapons are lethal because most of the enemies don't use non-lethal weapons anyway. Um, I feel like it's going to make a return uh, rather quickly, uh, all things considered. But having done that. Uh, I think I'm ready to leave. Mm, nightly word news. No, no actual new segment, so I'm not going to stay here and watch. Uh, but it seems to me that this is probably a totally new district mm, compared to all of the others. This is getting to be a real pain. Chwilku strepeni, prosim. Skenuju. Co pak tady máme? Okay, žádný problémy? Tak jo, Augu, můžeš jít dál. Mm. I feel like this is a new area of Prague that I haven't been in in, in the main game. Všech ty problémy s plechovkama skončí, až vás všechny zrecyklujeme. Čemu pomůže, když nechají vyhodit do povětří nádraží? Ničemu! Mm, which is interesting in its own right, I guess. Is it not the Palisade Property Bank? It is the Palisade Bladely. Then, where the hell is the bank? I do not know the exact stop. You have to look at the Metro Guide. Thank you, officer. Is it confusing on purpose? I do not know, ma'am. I do not have the money to put anything in either of them. <laughs> Blade and Bank? I cannot be the only person confused by them. Yet, yeah, to be honest, I kind of am as well. I assumed Palisade Blade is the name of the company mm, which owns the bank, but presumably also owns some other things. But I'm already so late for my meeting and I have to go through more checkpoints? Kurva! <laughs> yeah, the most famous Slavic word. 
in the world, for, I think, you know, uh, most people, even, even if you don't know a single other word uh, in like Polish or, or Czech or, or, you know, uh, one of those other Slavic languages, you probably know <laughs> what kurva means already, at least roughly, because it, it's also, funnily enough, it's also one of the most complicated words, because, <laughs> because it, it, it is just so widely used that you can't, like, its actual literal meaning uh, doesn't really help you to understand all of the intricate details of uh, how it's being used in conversation. Um, we are not human, defaced, uh, we are obsolete, defaced uh, Arc Coalition posters. Mm. Okay, La Cause? Is that a... Mm, is that a, like a clothing company? I'm not sure what that advertisement is supposed to, you know, depict. But I think it's about clothes. Uh, now, I'm still not sure what is it about the Palisade Blade and the Palisade bank because it seems the palisade blade is a whole different uh, building as well so ballet theater opera okay now let me get my bearings convesh cafe okay so it's not a large area uh, so i'm going to go through all of it just to check you know uh, get my bearings this place does feel creepy in the evening. It explains why this place is not filled with more tourists. Ta noble budova je jedna velká časovaná bomba. Lidi, co vedou Blade, prej zaměstnance nepropouštějí. Nechávají je zabíjet. Hmm. It's interesting because I'm pretty sure what she said at first about uh, this whole building being a tomb uh, it's actually a wrong translation because, you know, again, I do not know Czech. I just can guess some of the context because some of the words are pretty similar to Polish. So I would say she said more, uh, something more along the lines of this whole building is a ticking time bomb, which isn't really that close to, to a tomb. That, that's like not really the same uh, meaning. Hmm, apparently I can interact with this. Mm. Okay, unfortunately, it was spoken. Uh, it was spoken far too quickly. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, far too qu quickly for me to like to even try to understand, especially because I didn't hear that. It I didn't hear it that clearly, and there were, there were no subtitles. Um, basically, it was talking about how uh, Ashani Talwar is the CEO of Palisade, uh, one of the most Im like important or prominent banks in the world. And also, it was at one point talking about how uh, mm, I think she wrote her old, own autobiography detailing some things that have happened to her, which I think is actually something that I've read as an ebook in the other DLC, uh, at least parts of it, because uh, she was writing about how, sh how she was kidnapped as a child uh, from a hotel or something, and I wasn't sure if that's um, 
if that's fiction uh, or if that's something that actually happened, which I guess it did happen. I see. Okay. Hmm. To be honest, it seems pretty weird to leave uh, like a hot dog stand uh, unattended with all of the things. Because first of all, it's going to spoil uh, if you leave it like that. And second of all, I'd, I'd imagine somebody would like steal a pocket, pocket of chips or uh, I mean a pack of chips or something at some point. Uh, but, then, but then again, there are actual armed policemen around uh, and uh, the main game, if it has taught me anything, then it has taught me that the police here aren't really, you know, shy about shooting people to death. So that might be a deterrent. I'm sick of tourists. It's a building filled with rich people's secrets. Who cares? Well, the rich people probably care, and the people who hate the rich people should probably also care. But they replaced them with kiosks after that shooting. Yeah, oh, I remember hearing about that a few years ago. It was some augmented guy who went oh, crazy or, or something like that, right? No, it was a natural nutbag. You never know if someone in this city is just going to start shooting up a place. I'm here on holiday. Please stop trying to get me paranoid. Sorry. Prague used to be a nice and relaxing place. Not anymore. I bet you were dishing out pain during the incident instead of receiving it, eh? I can't believe someone went crazy with a gun here and ruined the lives of so many people. But you'll never hear about it on any tourist kiosk, that's for sure. City run by criminals and scum. This is not a checkpoint. I do not need your papers. <laughs> the British guards do not like it when people get close, especially orbs. Stay out of trouble. Move along. I'm not sure what British cops ha have to do with anything here, but. Nice, but I am done. <laughs> I know you love it here, but I have made up my mind. The bombing was the final straw. I am sorry. I do not want to be around augmented people. Mm, okay, so he was talking about how he doesn't want to return, I think, to the countryside? Like, presumably he's from a smaller town, or, or, or she uh, is from a smaller town or like a village? Yeah, yeah, he says there is no future for me elsewhere. So I presume it's about how they originally come from, or he, or or she, whatever, originally come from like a smaller town or a village, which he considers to be a problem because there's no op opportunity there, but she considers to be an advantage because uh, it's safer. I cannot take any more attacks on the city. The train station bomb was too much. I do not care if an orb did the bombing. I need to leave Prague. Now, I still don't really know what that is. Like, it's clear to me that it is a rendition of the Palisade uh, logo. You know, this. Mm. But I'm not sure what its actual function is. And also, I'm a bit salty that uh, it shows me the other, uh, the other bank of Veltava, you know, with all of the historical buildings. Uh, and uh, p presumably uh, the Hrachani, uh, the, 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 the castle in Prague as well, somewhere, somewhere al along there. And I can't visit it, like it, it's taunting me with, uh, with the older part of parts of it. Uh, okay, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, hilarious because I'm pretty sure this, I don't have the rifle to um, zoom, but I'm pretty sure this dome this building with a dome is actually cop copied uh, on this side as well, which I don't think 
is supposed to happen. Like I seriously doubt they are two. There are two identical buildings um, in such close proximity in Prague, in the real Prague. But maybe they are. There, there are. As I said, I've actually only been in Prague in transit. Word of advice: Don't go hanging around the red light district. Lots of crooks. If you're looking for that great bar owned by an augmented chap, he's moved to Utrecht. <sighs> and if you had one, what exactly would you keep in a digital world? What do you mean? All my movie ideas. The blades are for important files that actually need protection. My ideas need protection. People in Hollywood keep hacking into my cloud to steal my drafts before I can finish them. <laughs> well, have you considered not storing your ideas in a cloud? At least there would be no danger of them getting made into real movies. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> With everything digital today, how can people expect their emails and files to ever be safe? Yeah, to be honest, I've been thinking about it a couple of times in my life already, how Google presumably, if they only want it, they can get access to... Uh, by Google, you know, by extension, I mean Gmail, because I use Gmail as my email. Um, they could ex get access to all kinds of information about me, because I'm keeping everything on, like, either keeping or just, I, I keep sending files to myself as a way to not forget about them or to, like, print them at a different location. Uh, but, but then again, I don't really think they care. Like, uh, f first of all, if you even wanted to sift through, you know, all of the personal data of the millions upon millions of people, it would require a workforce uh, so large that it's pretty th unlikely it's, it's even going... I, what I mean is, it's pretty unlikely that it's, it's happening simply from a practical standpoint. But also, also, I feel like most of those information, you know, they might be uh, important to me uh, personally, but they are worthless as uh, actual like commercial uh, data, or they cannot really be used in any meaningful way. I don't think. So, so my point is pretty similar to um, like. It's pretty well re well reflected in this conversation, actually, because this woman is worried that Hollywood is stealing her movie ideas, uh, and this one I I is telling her that uh, you know they probably could, <laughs> but uh, but they are not because it's it's pointless. With everything to okay, I said that already. Everyone should be allowed to have digital secrets that no one can hack into. I should write a screenplay about Oshiro and Talwar creating the blades. They're always in the news. Yeah, I'm still not sure what the blades are, but presumably it's going, like, compared to Palisade Bank uh, itself, uh, but presumably it's going to get elaborated on. Oh, damn it. I didn't get the hacking. That's problematic. Yeah, hacking too. Damn it. I didn't think about it. It's obviously... Uh, I would imagine once I do break into the bank, uh, it's surely going to, you know, be important. Uh, but, but I feel like with this key or with this shop or whatever, there might be an alternate way of getting in, after all. Because uh, there usually is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, that's what I thought. Um, that's what I thought exactly. So this is the the bar that was closed after the owner was deported to uh, Utrecht complex. Mm, so Golem City, Converse, holographic cafe. What would a holographic cafe be? And presumably, I can't also. Oh, hacking rating one. Lila Volotovsky. So at least I can hack that. Uh, but it uh, might be dangerous anyway. Uh, Trace program initiated. Okay, should have enough time. Because obviously, if if it um, if it started the alarm, the police would have shot me deaf. I mean dead. 
uh, we wanted to take this time to wish you the best of luck getting everything ready. Congratulations on getting our holographic system and running it up and running. Big and important step on the road map to the grand opening. Uh, proud to have you as the franchise owner of our first cafe in the Czech Republic. Your work in Warsaw. Oh, it's another motherfucking Poland reference. Uh, and Vienna openings were nothing short of spectacular. We now have high hopes and even higher expectations. Uh, our li lawyers are finalizing the f last round of contacts now. Czech privacy laws minutia taking us longer than expected to be ironed out. We're sorry for this delay and have adjusted our financial targets accordingly. Uh, good luck and we look forward to having our location launch conversation with you next week. I'm still not sure what a, what a holographic cafe is, uh, but maybe it's going to... Um, maybe it's going to um, be revealed once they explore it a little bit more. To all franchise owners, as you remember, earlier this year we promised to let you know as soon as we had news to share about financial restructuring. Today we would like to give you an important update uh, on the steps we're taking to position Converse Cafe for the future. Reach an, ag an agreement with our lenders on a restructuring plan that will reduce our debt uh, by more than $700 million. The changes will not impact franchise owners who own less than 10 physical locations. The new revenue sharing plan will strengthen our brand, build momentum and improve growth. We are also pleased to announce several grand openings this month. Prague, Czech Republic, Ivory Coast, Japan, United States, Venezuela. Mm. Thank you for your time and we look forward to sharing some exciting announcement and a new holocom technology in the coming months. Okay, but it did, still didn't really tell me what it's about. Maybe it's a cafe that has like a holographic uh, staff, uh, like you know, they are not really really there, but like in a ten different locations at once, or something. Or or maybe it's it, it's some kind of an entertainment, because this looks kind of like it could be a dancing floor. Uh, Ebook. Mm. Okay, I feel bad about it, but I am going to take the stuff. Like, I have to, in those DLC, because they are, they are self-contained, I have to relax my rules about stealing to simply get by. Uh, can I dismantle ale? Uh, not really. Not, not really. Uh, so, doesn't really matter. Mm. But there is an email here, which kind of, I mean, an ebook. Mm, Converse Cafe Experience. Okay, so maybe this will explain what it's about. New and exciting way for people to have conversations with friends and family around the globe. Uh, has a built bar with the same exact dimensions. Ah, so it's, it's like a holographic chamber. You st step into it and then you get like your holographic image is displayed in any other location around the world, which I feel like is kind of cool as a gimmick. Like, mm, I, I don't think it has that much of a practical purpose compared mm, to just a regular, uh, you know, uh, voice chat or uh, like with, with, with a camera at your home with a laptop or whatever. Uh, but I feel like it's a really cool gimmick. Mm, like, for example, I, I can see, like, families getting into that, so that they, they for example, if you have a, a family abroad and you can, we want to see, you know, how much has your niece or, like, your cousin or grown-up, the, the, the kid, since you last saw them, then their parents can bring them in and, you know, you, you will actually see, like, the physical form of the people uh, and be able to interact with them this way. It, it also, presumably, like you could play with children, uh, you know, uh, in this way. So, so I guess it would be kind of cool, but I see it more like a gimmick than anything, um, you know, practically groundbreaking. Uh, you are filmed by multiple 3D cameras, steer stream directly into any other location around the globe via patented, patented holocom technology. 
hundreds of locations, uh, face to face with a friend or a loved one living in a different city, or even have a chat with a complete stranger from another continent. It's social reinvented. Well, I guess, mm, I guess it, it kind of might fulfill uh, a bit of a need for like f more physical kind of experience because it's difficult for me to appreciate it because I am a naturally rather introverted and even a, a bit a bit of a reclusive person so for me it's it's perfectly um, it's perfectly fine to keep in contact with my family just via uh, you know a, a telephone call every now and then but for example my mom uh, she really likes you know having me close uh, like actually physically close so that we can sit, sit together you know and actually talk face to face so i think uh, this would be a good enough middle ground for my mom i feel like uh, if she could actually like see me you know the, the entirety of me and we could uh, obviously i wouldn't be physically there so she couldn't like hug me or anything but we could still uh, like sit at a couch and she would get the experience of uh, you know having me huh, can i get it on because presumably that's that's what this is going to do right Uh, but I don't think it's going to work because obviously this whole place uh, looks pretty run down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think. Although this did light up, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so maybe presumably what I'm guessing is it's going to be used at some later point. Um, in the game, maybe? Maybe I'll use this technology to actually contact someone? Because uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything for now. Uh, closed, okay. So that's that's being checked out. Um, so I'm going to check out the rest of the district. Mm, before going to the bar, which I don't think, you know, with my usual speed of going about and talking with everyone, I don't think it's going to happen in this episode. I really thought we would get to go inside. Maybe even see Oshiro and Dawar? The blade is like Fort Knox. They do not let people just walk in. What is Fort Knox? It is where America keeps all of its gold. The information inside the blade is priceless. See the guys with guns? This area is off limits. Okay, we are moving. See what I mean? I want to go inside of the blade. It is so stupid. They should let people in. I think Oshiro and Dalvar are geniuses. They figured out how to make money from doing nothing. <laughs> well, if you simplify it enough, uh, isn't it... Uh, isn't this basically what banks do anyway? Like, if you uh, if you simplify it enough, uh, then loaning money uh, for interest is basically cre creating money out of nothing. Uh, employee only. Personnel only sir. Mm, mobile and static. Uh, your security is our priority. Full analysis of vulnerabilities, layered security plans, checkpoints, fixed and roving posts, robotic countermeasures, deployable anywhere. Okay. Please follow all security recommendations, sir, for your own health and well-being. Thanks to Tarvos, Palisade will continue to boast a perfect security record at any cost. Hmm. Welcome to Palisade. We get few augmented clients or visitors, sir. The lobby may be visited, but please stay out of any restricted areas. The blades are known as architectural marvels. How many banks can boast about being tourist attractions? <laughs> to be honest, I myself really, really don't like uh, the design of the Palisade Bank or of this, because it's like a giant concrete slab. Uh, I much rather, for example, this clock tower is uh, heaps more interesting to me visually than this ugly piece of shit. Uh, 
although the clock the clock doesn't have uh, arms so it it isn't particularly useful that guard was not joking around they do not arrest people who try to break in they just kill them and when the police show up the palisade pays them off i almost shit myself when that guard came over i'm sick of seeing guns remember when Prague did not have people just walking around with them yeah before the AUG incident can we not talk about it the AUG incident has made it unsafe to simply walk down the street anymore if this augmented rights coalition is really behind the bombing things are going to get even worse i get the feeling that the palisade guards do not arrest people who try to break in they just kill them on the spot i'm tired of all the guns this city used to be peaceful hmm Probucto Mobile. Innovation is here. Huh. That's a weird... Th that's a pretty weird, weird dimension for a phone, because it's almost uh, rectangular. Mm. Okay, no idea what this is about. Modnidni. Uh, Czech Republic. So that's... Uh, Fashion day, uh, days days of fashion, something like that. It's presumably some kind of an expo for like clothing companies. Dřív tady pár augů mělo vlastní podniky. To je nelidský. Co s augmentovanými lidmi udělali? Moje nejlepší kámoška má podobné ruce, ale ty tvoje vypadají mnohem dražší. Z měst pro augmentovaný tě ven dostanou jen prachy. Mm, okay, police. Again, those those advertisements for uh, antidepressants, which I find pretty depressing on the road. Uh, naturals only. Stop right there, Hanser. I need to see your papers. This doesn't look like a checkpoint, and you don't exactly look like a police officer. And you do not look like someone who is going to pull out a guitar to sing songs about peace and love. Papers now. Huh? Do they do they even have? Uh, do they even have right a right to do that? Like if they if they are just civilians, uh, can they? Because obviously, if they were like Tarvos or some other security company, they, then perhaps they could, mm, on the basis of all of the laws that allow corporations to uh, integrate with some of the government stuff. Uh, but those who, who even are there? Uh, I mean, are they? I kind of feel like, I w <laughs> like on one hand, I really feel like. I'm not well inclined towards taking their bullshit because I really feel like it is a bit of a bullshit. Uh, but on the other, I don't really want to start a fight, so eh, sure, whatever. All right, I can see you're serious. I'm not looking to cause any trouble. You better not. This is an og free zone, and we will shoot any og who enters before they decide to go crazy again. Now get out of here. Wait, so so why did she want to see my papers anyway Because before uh, denying me a wrench is a tool, not a human being, before denying me entrance anyway? Area is for naturals only. Augmented stay out. Yeah, obviously this is a natural entrance, but why didn't she just say that? Why would she need to see my papers first? Like, I don't quite understand that. Uh, I like Talos Rockers. He makes a good point about human nature. I do not know how you can have Dr. Rocker as your leader. He writes like he thinks he's a god. <laughs> Interesting. So those are those are some two people with diametrically opposed opinions uh, on stuff uh, regarding uh, Talos Rocker and his book. Bend it over. You better hope all your paperwork is in order, Hanser. An unauthorized clank in the city could mean big trouble for Very you. enough trouble as it is. Is that right? One second. You must have some kind of super weapon under the hood. What I have is a job to do, and no time to waste. 
Do not let me keep you then. Get moving. Okay, I didn't actually want to go there yet, because I wanted to check this little cul-de-sac. I'm fine, mother. How are you? That is good. Where did you hear that? Yannick was just in one of his moves again. I know, but I really do not want to talk about it. Because it is my business and I'm not going to just leave him. Why? In good times and bad, in sickness and in health, that is why. To me, that is called giving up. Yes, you can give me your opinion. Yes. You make a good point. <laughs> I must say, it's pretty creepy. I completely disagree. For Jensen. You did not notice I was talking? Yeah, I did. And actually, uh, I'm just commenting on that because it's pretty creepy for Jensen to, uh, for Jensen to, um, be standing right next to people having private conversations. Uh, locked. Okay, no. Ter oh, there is a terminal, but presumably too difficult for me to. Yeah, right. That's a problem, actually. Like I kind of regret uh, not taking a higher hacking. Uh, because I'm worried that if I enter Palisade, you know, late, well, Palisade, the Blades, uh, at a later point, uh, once the, the plot ki kicks off, then I won't be able to even return to those areas over here uh, and explore them. Okay, this is open, which is interesting in its own right. Hmm. Heavy plastic. Uh, presumably there's a vent behind this, but I can't really move it because I also, also don't have the oak that would allow me to do that. Yeah, that's kind of. Hmm. I m might have goofed with my uh, with my uh, oak choice. Hmm. Hacking rating two. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there's no going back now. From what I, read, I am not getting into an odd debate with an odd. Yeah, other areas of Krag can be pretty scary at night. Not only at night. My mother was stuck during the terminal station lockdown and was mugged three times. Three times in one day? That is crazy! It is the addicts. They come out to rob people when they need drug money. Imagine growing up in Prague today. To be honest, I feel it's pretty unlikely to get mugged three times in a day because what I mean is not, not the event itself but just how it would go down beca because if you get mugged once, then presumably you either get beat up, killed if it's bad enough, or simply you lose if you you know if you give in if you uh, agree to give them uh, all your valuable items then you're uh, broke so the the other people that want to rob you they wouldn't have anything to rob you of all these cops i do not understand how crime can be so bad imagine being robbed three times in one day yeah i'm not sure how that would work actually people can become pretty desperate when their hands are forced I could not imagine raising a child in times like these. Hmm. Uh, okay, this area is for naturals only, augmented out. But before I do that... Okay, this is openable. Klimova Apartments. Mm, Kafka Nightclub, closed. 
Mm. Before I do that, let me check all of the nearby. Yeah, I, I'm kind of annoyed that I forgot about hacking, because I'm sure it's going to be, you know, useful, uh, especially for all of the flavor texts uh, inside the bank uh, at a later point. Uh, hmm. Okay, there is also this area over here, uh, which presumably... Oh, but damn it, I didn't... Mm. Yeah, I can't really do that now. Because I don't see the breaker. Unless it's in there, maybe. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try it. Uh, just to see what's in here. Because it seems the stairs themselves are not electrified. So... So is there a breaker here somewhere? Oh, there's like a whole set of tunnels, uh, which is interesting in its own right. Uh, but I don't see the breaker itself. I guess I am going to... wait. Ah, right. Wait, right, you have to sneak inside here. I was confused for a second. Where did the vent disappear? Oh, and this actually leads me to the cafe that was closed, so... That's pretty great, actually. I'm glad that I checked that. Because um, this is the wine store, yeah? Uh, the, the one straight up next door. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so. Uh, consumable alcohol. Don't really need that, because I can't break it down. I could sell it, but, you know, if there even is a vendor in this mission. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with that. I would like, however, to possibly check this. Mm, palisade property. Wait. Why is it Why is it labeled as a palisade account? Uh, is it because it belongs to, like, a palisade employee or something? Mm. Shipment delay. Josine, it turn turns out that our last shipment was indeed damaged in the augmented terrorist bombing in Prague. We have confirmation from an insur insurance company that we were covered for, for such an event. Contact the customers who have pre-ordered the following wines. Uh, inform them of the delay. Uh, so this is sad news. So many of those wines were some of the year's most anticipated. We believe this actually helps our bottom line. Marketing team has devised a rollout plan to use the tourist bombing as a way to explain the limited supplies of the wines above. Bottles that were not pre-sold will, will now be promoted as being of limited quantity and the retail price will be increased by 25-40%. to 40%. More profits for all. <laughs> okay. And new wines uh, from Quebec. Uh, this Merlot is evidence of 2025's overall quality, powerful and concentrated with c current, current, I don't know that word, jam, plum and clove flavors, yet elegant with hints of earl grey tea and leather, notable for its remarkably rich tannin, again, I would probably not understand that much about the detail to wine description even in Polish. I'm not exactly a person w well familiar with, you know, the, the culture of drink of drinking wine. Like I do recognize some of the m more popular uh, wine grape uh, um, like types, mm, but, but just because my parents do drink a lot, you know, you know mm, do, do 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 partake in, in wines. Uh, pretty commonly, uh, but I myself wouldn't know like how to tell a decent wine from uh, f from, from a shit one. Uh, notable for its... Uh, this wine is perfect introduction to the drinkers unfamiliar with the K Quebec region of wines. Uh, carries the flavor of ancient plum. Heirloom strawberry? What? That sounds weird. Ancient plum and heirloom strawberries. Barely noticeable notice notes of something will surprise the 
mouth with a smoky aftertaste. Mm, let me know if these interest you. Well, to be honest, they don't. They don't interest me in the slightest. Sorry to say. Uh, what does kind of interest me though is if there's anything you know actually worthwhile in this shop. Mm. Ah. Okay, I am stealing that, for sure. Well, this trip was already worth it. I got like nine ammunition, uh, additional ones. Crafting parts as well. Yeah, already, already worth it. Unfortunately, can't move that because I don't have the correct org. But there is mm, an ebook, so let me read that. Le Habitan Wines announced a new ice wine. Master winemaker Carl Perner does it again with another ice wine that is destined to win every award possible. KP Select. My speed growing vibrant Carib Caribbean fruit in the short Canadian summers and harvesting them at the edge of winter. The flavor offers a taste that is truly one of a kind. Uh, 2027's Harvest offers a hard-hitting ice wine that can only be described as classy, smooth and purely que que Quebecois in origins. Uh, juicy papaya and gala apple dominate the palate with a suitable blend of breadfruit. Ac what? I, I, I seriously doubt, again, I don't know that word, and I seriously doubt... Uh, a key? Ah, okay, okay, I was confused for a second, because I read it, I'm not sure why, but I was about to read it as acne, which... <laughs> believe me, even if, as someone who doesn't know anything about wines, I, w I, w I really wouldn't um, like to discover that there's acne in my wine. <laughs> but as it is, even without the N uh, in the middle, I'm still not sure what this word means. Um, only vineyard in the world that has straddles, that tr straddles the border between Quebec and Ontario 100% of the profits go directly to the Augmented Children Hospital of Montreal. Okay. Well, this trip was worth it just for the ammo alone, and I also got some uh, crafting parts out of it. Mm. I can't really explore the tunnels underneath it here because uh, the, the current, the electrics, will kill me if I don't find the breaker quick enough uh, so I guess I'm kind of done because I can't hack this mm, uh, can't hack the storage although <laughs> wait, 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 wait wait because I just noticed something on the map there's supposed to be presumably like a secret uh, no, not here but rather uh, wait, how does it even... Hmm. It almost looks like a wine store. Okay, so this is some totally separate area, actually. Which piques my interest a little bit. Hmm. Okay, can't open that. Huh. Yeah, and I also don't see the breaker anywhere anywhere in close proximity. Well, I'm going to leave it be for now, because I'm not sure how to reach that other area. It may be done through the storage that I can't open because I don't have a high enough uh, hacking skill. So... Restaura. Oh, here we go. I could possibly go in here if I can hack this. Hacking one. Okay, but 
this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to end it here and next time I'll first explore this restaurant and then go into this restricted district. Oh, there's also the apartments I haven't explored, so I guess I have to check that, uh, then that, and then go into the restricted district and into the Zatopek bar to meet whoever pra uh, Francis Pritchard was talking about, but for now I'm going to save here and actually end it. So that's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye!